Let's get back to the job of driving Eidolon Security out of business. One of Eidolon Security's slogans is, Your secrets are our secrets. You'll have to draw him out. He's been making some major power plays, and disrupting them will get his attention. I'll enjoy ruining Rathari's plans. He's gonna go nuts. Just picture it. Every contract, every shady deal, all the security specs of every single one of the Eidolon's clients at anyone's disposal. Rathari can't just beat on them. He has to play diplomat. You're a cipher agent. Specializations in disguise, seduction, infiltration, assassination. You're brave to come to Shadow Town. This could be your future. A bomb in your head, trapped here like a criminal. If things turn violent between you and the huts, better if there's no one left to identify you. A plague called the Rot afflicts the poorest of Narshada's poor. But it can be cured, and the person who does so will be regarded not just as a hero, but as a prophet. Prophet? Now that's more to my taste. These armed refugees pose a problem. I don't see why. You're a trained killer. Kill them. Let's talk when you get the chance. Hello again, Cypher. I'm seeing everything the Bioscan sees. Blood, genetic codes... Who did this sample come from? I think it was an Evokai. I'm going deeper now, Cypher. Looking for a signature to tell us who the artist is. Curious? I'll play along. What have you found? I have a corporate match. Cyclone's coding process is registered to Sinchet Industries. Sinchet used to manufacture droids, food supplements, medical supplies. But Sinchet declared bankruptcy five years ago. The company is gone. Someone else must be using their technology. Sinchet, a dead company, is connected to Cyclone. Cyclone is connected to the Terror Cell. We need more. I'm finding one former Sinchet executive currently on Narshadar. He left the company just before it dissolved. Question him about Sinchet. We need to know what happened to their resources, whether they had terrorist connections. Shouldn't be hard to interrogate a rich businessman. Your executive is named Jordal Tlan. Rich, eccentric, reclusive. Stays in his private casino lounge. Only associates with droids. No visitors allowed, no weapons allowed. He'll need a reason to talk to you, to be desperate to talk to you. I assume you have something in mind? Use the resources you have. See those medical crates. Combine their chemicals correctly and you'll have an undetectable poison. Clan's serving droids won't notice if you poison his drink. When he sweats and chokes, offer the antidote in return for cooperation. I'll do what I have to. But I make the call myself. If you like. I'm sending the formulas for poison and antidote. The important thing is to get to Clan. Get him talking about the terrorists, Cyclone and the dissolution of Sinchet. My lord, I wanted, I wanted to apologize for Dustris earlier. He was out of line. At least one of you knows her place. I have a great deal of respect for you. I just wanted you to know that. You, you radiate a, a power that Palladius, for all his ranting and demanding, never did. I don't need to rant. My will is done the moment I think it. That's what I mean. You are strong, or Palladius only pretends to be. Anyway, if we want to make a stab at taking over Palladius' cult, we need a real headquarters. Somewhere you can speak, hold meetings. I hope you don't mind, but I, I took the liberty of finding a place. This wouldn't be a ploy to outplay Destrus for my favor. I'm sorry. I thought the Sith smiled on ambition, but in any case, I was only trying to help. The place is called the Strell House, for a charity worker named Dagan Strell. The people look to him as a leader. He's been dead nearly a decade, but his name still means something. And I thought it couldn't hurt to have his name associated with yours. A well-known location can't hurt either. I'd considered that as well. 
It's both well known and accessible. He's going to talk about Bomboki Takum Boska Bolia. Do I have the correct man? Security expert Z? Who are you, your muster? Or Grandri Tempo to Moki Tonka? He's got the G. I just need the codes to Eidolon Security's encryption programs. Chipokma Utmogisa. Chopoba if Kaftu Tanjawa. Wama Otaka Joka Hatapawa. Tapamba Wulia. I'm quite eager to meet the Eidolon. The Piska Kukapa Miwata. Potenya Nucha to Pota. I don't want to be killing what the bunker. Talk about the gun, you are the. What room at the border done we want to you at Oba Japanoka? Will you keep quiet about our little chat? Cover two to Omiska, cover this one matter. You're at least getting under what she'd cause, but any continue. This will be our only meeting. I'm back with Z's codes. Ha! Wish I could have seen the look on Z's face. Anuli, we good? Everything looks legit. Beautiful work. Z's code is like music. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let, uh, yeah. Isolate the ones we'll need and hand the pad back to our hunter friend here. Eidolon Security's transceiver codes are marked. Easy to spot. They'll disable the encryption programs. No problem. Why did I need these codes again? They're gonna get you access to all of Eidolon Security's confidential files. Once we get those, the Eidolon's personal business will be everybody's business. <laughs> Eat that, you ganks! <laughs> Okay, so on to phase two of our plan to scrag idle on security's rep and drive their clients away. Anuli? Gotta access idle on security's data transceivers. Input these codes, then slice into Eidolon's network, download their files. Here's a holonet transmitter. Once you've accessed Eidolon's network, put this on the transceiver. It'll let Anuli upload the file straight to the holonet. Eidolon Security's entire database is on the holonet. That's bad. Real bad. For them. The transceivers are in the network access sector. Security is going to be tight. And the Eidolon will have his best men protecting those transceivers. Feel free to kill as many as you want. You would be wise to bend to the great Lord Rathari's will. Sign over the specified territories before he loses his patience. Oyatuka Changa Gutupula do Potata Wanawanki. I knew huts were spineless, but who knew they were gutless, too? I'll tell you who this is. This is the apprentice of an over-the-hill Sith named Darth Barras. Yes, that's right. My master and I anticipated your arrival. Where is your master, Worm? I am Lord Rathari's proxy in dealing with the cartel, and I will be his sword arm dealing with you. I have no quarrel with you, but Rathari must die. If you're stupid enough to stand against me, then you will die today. What are the odds you had survive my attack? Uipa Mojo, Pocatula, Chanusa, Asubi, Mota. Our alliance begins with the death of Barris's slave. Attack! <laughs> Impossible. Lord Rathar.
Ari will still be you and your master's downfall. Your master will be as dead as you soon enough. Master Talon requested my repairs be completed in time for tomorrow's Swoop Race broadcast. You are supposed to comply. I'm not a mechanic. I can't keep repairing you things when you malfunction. Then I shall inform Master Tlon of your inability to perform your duties. That's not necessary. I... Why don't you... clear your memory of the last five minutes? Hey, you! I, this is Master Tlon's lounge. Is there something I can help you with? You've got your hands full with that protocol unit. It's nothing big. Master Tlon just likes everything to be perfect. The JTO2 is a Geonosian antique. JTO3's blasters need recalibration. The serving droid spills drinks. The droids are why I'm here. Do you mind? Mm, what do you want? Master Tlon didn't say anyone was coming. I've got a repair order from the casino. There have been some complaints. Fine. Okay. <laughs> we don't need any trouble. Just be quick, okay? Sorry, Master Tlon must have called the droid. I hope that's not a problem. I was just finishing up. Great. Hope it worked out. Natula! Natula! I can't breathe! I need my medical droids! I need them now! Master, you have two medical droids already. You dear girl, I know when there's something wrong with me. I can't breathe! My tongue is swelling. There was something in my drink. Let me in. I'm a doctor. Who the blazes are you? I'm sorry, Master. He came to look at the droids. You pathetic creature. I told you that I have enemies, and this is proof. This man is trying to kill me. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. You've got my undivided attention, Blast. You know, what do you want? I need to know about Sinchet's link to terrorism. It's not... Uh, it wasn't like that. Back when I was with Sinchet, the company was failing. The war bankrupted us, so we had to sell everything. One of our subsidiaries developed medical technologies, Coltor tanks, Rancor stems, Cyclone, that sort of thing. But the group that bought it wasn't interested in profit. What were they interested in? They used fake names, paid for everything in, in cash. They only cared about the technology, not the business. Yes, I knew it was strange, and no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Get in there and help him! Or do you just plan to let him die? I'll bring him the antidote. Open the door. <coughs> I can breathe. I can breathe again. Thank you. Alert! Life signs stabilized. Warning. Any stress or exertion is inadvisable. No more, all right? No more. I'll, I'll tell you everything if you'll just... just go. Finish your story, Plan. Like I told you, Sinchat sold its medical division, Vervgen, to a group of men who kept their identity secret. They were especially interested in Vervgen's genetic modification serums. They might still be running the company. I, I don't know for sure. Any idea what Vervgen is up to? Not really. I heard something about a cyclone trial. Maybe the company is looking to produce and sell a new batch. Vervgen used to be headquartered in the upper levels. I don't know if you care, but the building's not even there anymore. But whatever Vervgen and its owners are doing, I'm not involved. Stay out of trouble, or I'll be back. You ever come here again, I'll be ready. Hello, Cypher. Always pleasant to speak. You know, I managed to slice into the Star Cluster's holocams. I got to see how you handle field work. Your questioning of Jordal Clan was adeptly handled. You should try torturing people more often. I learned what I needed to learn. So, now we know about Vervgen, a Sinchet Industries medical subsidiary purchased by a shadowy group of buyers. Those buyers were presumably members of the Terra Cell. The company was acquired to produce Cyclone and other technologies. I reached the same conclusion. I've located the Vervgen offices, but I'm unable to obtain personnel records. Their data is very well secured. I need you to set up surveillance. Slice into public terminals around the building perimeter. 
and I can use Holonet resources to see and hear inside. Where should I start? Vervgen is located in the upper level industrial sites. The sector is overrun by corporate security. Some may carry Cyclone as a last resort. When you're done, come to Shadowtown. We'll meet in person. Watch your ex out. No good at Tanquikuta. Be quick to Bamba? If you mean the future leader of Lord Palladius's cult, then yes. I'll send your body back to your master in pieces. That was Garnock. You defeated Palladius' right-hand man. You should hear it. They're calling you the great healer after your little trick curing the rot. Look what I found outside. My lord, for helping to cure our families and neighbors of the rot, we humbly present you with this gift. Already the masses bow to me. We are honored to serve you, my lord. Isn't this great? Cure one lousy disease and you already got Palladius scared and people lining up with presents. No time for celebrating, Destris. Palladius isn't resting. He's called a big meeting at Meridian Hall. If we don't act, he'll rally his cult and stop our whole operation dead. Sounds like the perfect opportunity to present the virtues of my own cult. With all respect, these are Palladius' most faithful we're talking about. We need to show that you have more power in your little finger than Palladius has in his... Wait! I've got it! It's a crazy idea, but what if you showed that you could move the city itself? Make a ground quake? I walk into Palladius' speech and make the very ground shake. I like it. What have you been putting in your soup, Riley? Nobody can just make this moon shake. Stick with me here. You know the gas pipes that run under Meridian Hall? Well, what if we blow up those pipes? Whoa. You got brains, girl. I know just the guy to set it up. Gord Maydell in the Nar Shaddaa Works Administration. Takes bribes on the side. He'll rig you something up, no problem. I can't wait to see the look on Palladius' face. Gord works at the NSWA office in the Duro sector, not far from Meridian Hall where Palladius is holding his big broadcast. You just tell him old Destra sent you. <laughs> Kunamo Uban Choni Alipa East in Goto Baraka Kem you Amkam Nemnu Namgan Bak Umnok Kijak Laboram Amka Mamni Nikal Nagnaya Mamni Kamgam I want to shake Nar Shadar at its very foundation Umnok Inu Memnu Amka Kam Mem Perolak Palak Memua Pemguana it's so much more fun for me when you refuse. Manalang yang perlu amka kalami na yakira lebua. Memyuka hal hal krama nikno ganyalalu memnurak. Do you still hope to win? Mami Lebik Bakmanuk, Maraka Naja Ki Nam Yabam Yak, Memua Pemguana, Kumi a young Mem Gamba Paka. A signaling device you shouldn't have. Norebe Amgin, Yam Hangan Kam Kalam, Kam Perim Ganam, Bagi Yang, Manik Hikup Bukam. Okay, that should take care of Z's encryption programs, transmitters in place. Let me slice into Eidolon's network. Wow, this is tough. I knew he wasn't kidding. The Eidolon's Holonet guys know their stuff. Don't worry, I'll tell your boyfriend how impressive you were. I told you he's not my boyfriend. Keep that up and I'm gonna think you're jealous. Come on, come on. 
I'm in. I'll contact Nuli. Nuli, are you getting this? That's quite a data stream, huh? Beautiful. All these work. Symphony of math. Downloading the files onto the holonet now. Stand by. Let's get out of here before more of the Eidolon's mercs show up. They're way too good with those blasters. Who put you up to this? Was it the cartel? Professionals don't divulge contacts. You understand? Doesn't matter. We'll get the intel one way or another. Eliminate the threat! Now! He found us! It's too late! He's here! He found us! Did he show up in person? Talk to me, Anuli. He's a specter! You can't escape a specter! We're all dead! Get away! Get away from me! Bingo! No! Ah! We have to get there! We have to save him! Time to take out the Eidolon. We're coming, Anuli. Welcome back, Cypher. Glad you could visit. Most people in Shadowtown seek escape. Spies. Assassins. Freedom is the only reason they'd help the Empire. But Imperial Intelligence isn't offering me freedom. You know why? I was wondering about that. Imperial Intelligence is scared to let me free. But the Watchers know that if I refuse to help, my mental conditioning reacts. If I disobey a superior, I get headaches. They last for days. So I may as well help you. The alternative is less pleasant. Has Intelligence done that to anyone else? Oh yes. But I know you're eager to get back to business. Now that we have surveillance, I've been able to monitor Verve Gen's activities. The results are enlightening. As we suspected, they're manufacturing Cyclone. In fact, Verve Gen is preparing a large quantity of serum for transport and distribution. They're transferring the Cyclone to other cells in the network. That's exactly right. Verve Gen's day-to-day -day management is expecting a visit from the owners. That's when the Cyclone will be turned over. Security will increase. Employees sent home, holocams activated, internal defenses powered on. But get into the meeting unnoticed, and you'll find the terror cell leaders. Then we can eliminate the terrorists and destroy the cyclone. An appropriate solution. But the approach will require delicacy. With effort, we can create a cybernetic disguise combining armor, implants, and holographic technology. You would appear to be a Class V droid. Most security devices don't screen mindless droid workers. Fitted with such a camouflage system, you could walk into Vervgen unmolested. How do we get this working? I've already assembled the system's components. All that remains is to implant the cybernetics necessary to hide your life readings. I can put you to sleep with an anesthetic before making the incisions. Otherwise, we can begin. The procedure should be swift. Just wake me up when the operation's done. Of course. I'll try not to cause any damage while I'm inside. Not that I doubt him, but I'll keep an eye out for you. Night. Finished. I've inserted three implants along your spinal column. You'll never feel them. Congratulations. From now on, you'll be able to pass as a machine. We're losing time. What's next? It won't be long before the cell leaders arrive at Vervgen. I suggest you get to the meeting. Eliminate everyone. Afterward, I'll contact you for confirmation. Good luck, Cypher. Anuli! Oh no. Oh no! The Eidolon may still be here. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. We need to find Gelrin. He's probably hiding. Assuming he's still... What was that? What were those things? I can't believe he's gone. I never should have left him. It's all my fault. Again. We can still avenge him. Yes. I want to make Eidolon pay. Look, the holo communicator on Galeran's desk is blinking. Maybe he's still alive, sending us a message. Oh, there you are. It's been a bit of a challenge tracking you down. 
I figured you for a rogue agent, but the question was, for whom? I should have known. Glaren's the only one stupid enough to do this. Figured you'd be taller, or a cyborg or something. I'm small enough to slip through a crack in a door, and large enough to loom over all of Narshadar. I must admit, I'm rather impressed that one person could be responsible for so much damage. If you wish to meet me, come to these coordinates. I'll be sitting right here, waiting for you. Of course, the second you step out of the door, you're dead. Shame, really, since our confrontation would have been most exhilarating. My trigger finger needs some exercise. Likewise. And after, I'll admire your head on my wall every day. Well, Hunter, I'm sad to say this is goodbye. Well, here we go. Let's be careful with this crazy. Word spread through the streets that Rathari's conference with the Huts was invaded and his apprentice killed. No one knows who slaughtered the Huts, so I'm very impressed. The Empire's alliance is intact. It's too bad Rathari wasn't in attendance. But man, I bet he's fuming. I'm sure our message was heard loud and clear. Rathari is also on the verge of taking over the Republic's base of operations in the upper industrial sites. With his work with the cartel dashed, he's sure to pour himself into squashing the Republic garrison. I'll keep banging down doors until I find him. I love a man who's tenacious. Even if Rathari isn't there, when his operations are all thwarted, I know he'll come to you. A confrontation will be inevitable. Men, fall back. Rally here. My lord, what is the meaning of this? We are on the verge of striking a major blow to the Republic. I am General Clickton, commanding on the authority of Sith Lord Rathari, appointed to Narshadar by the Dark Council. Why do you attack the Empire's men? Where is your master hiding? He is attending to other matters. You belong to Darth Barras. I was given instructions to destroy you if you were foolish enough to show your face here. I'm right here. Do what you must. My men are the best trained in the galaxy. You will be a minor interruption, and then I will finish obliterating the Republic garrison. Full attack! Sir, the Sith's strength has been spent obliterating our enemy. We should strike while there's a chance. After that display, Weglin, I believe fighting should be our last resort. Stay back and cover me. Sith, I am Commander Nolan. I'm in charge of this defensive. I'm unarmed. You risk much approaching me, weaponless. I doubt that a blaster would save me. We do not wish a fight, but we also cannot relinquish this area. What are your terms? You live only by my good grace. I may have need of you someday, and you will repay my mercy. Very well. If your mission does not conflict with Republic interests, I pledge to help you. Here is my hollow frequency. I will answer your call. You have my word. Until we meet again, Sith. Men, the battle is ended. Attend to the wounded. My lord, my base! My base is under attack! The last of my men and I are holed up in the command center. But the doors are about to give! I'll be right there, Haladrell. Try to hold on. Do the best I can. But I... I've got a bad feeling about this. The command center's been breached. I've never seen such power. Oh no. There is only one law for the weak as well as the strong, and that is power. For too long, the weak of Nar Shaddaa have grown soft in the luxury of their towers, while the strong have wallowed in chains. But I tell you, united, there is no law that can stop you. Take back what is yours. Yeah! Never a truer word spoken, my friend. There are those who would tell you lies, who spread rumors and false promises. Already some among you are lost, having chosen the path of weakness. But you must shun this false messenger. The weak fear your growing strength and have sent her to break it. What makes you worthy of leading such a strong people, Palladius? Ah, 
the deceiver shows her face. Behold, my children, look how pathetic, how easily crushed by your collective might. The very ground you stand on responds to my will. Can Palladius do this? this the world is ending don't be fooled it's a trick attack the deceiver attack My lord, what happened? How did you... We never met anybody who could do what you did. Not Lord Palladius, not anybody. If you wish to serve me, go to the Strel House. My servants will see that you are brought into the fold. The Strel House? A good place. That Dagon Strel was a good man. But before you send us away, share your wisdom and strength with us, so we can serve you. There is only passion. Through passion, strength. Through strength, power. Through power, victory. That's the same line Palladius fed us. I'm sick of these Sith games. Shut your mouth. The Sith speaks the truth. Besides, this one does what she says. She cured the rot. You're right. My lord, we will do as you say. We will forgive and tell others to do the same. Engaging the enemy. Darth Barris failed to inform you exactly who you'd be crossing. This demonstration should make up for that deficiency. You want Agent Delicon. You want me. I won't be hard to find anymore. I'm on the roof of the satellite platform in network access. If you dare show, I will grant you a duel to the death. Be honored. My lord, if I may, I smell an ambush. Commander Norlin and his men owe me their lives. I mean to collect. Hail him now. Yes, my lord. Patching him through now. I had a feeling you'd call, Sith. Can't say I'm looking forward to this. Keep your insecurity to yourself, Commander. I only hope that what you ask will not undermine the Republic. The soldier pays his debts. Tell me what must be done. Unbelievable. Here you stand. Alive? Who are you, and why are you doing this? Sometimes a body gets bored and wants a challenge, you know? That's insane. By coming here, you've assured your death, nothing more. It was a pleasure to meet you. Opponents like you are very rare and precious. I regret having to kill you. Wait, I've got a priority message from Solash. He's another cartel lieutenant. He's offering a huge bounty if you bring him the Eidolon, alive. We take him alive then. Still counts as a successful hunt. Oh, come now. You'll never claim that bounty. But then, if we don't have our dreams, what do we have? Come. It's time to die. Well, no. <laughs> What are you waiting for? You've done it. You've beaten me. Finish it now, and be remembered forever as the hunter who killed the Eidolon. You're mighty proud of yourself, aren't you? I don't lie, and I don't exaggerate. Never had to. Listen to me. 
I'm appealing to your sense of honor as an equal. Don't hand me over to the cartel. Kill me now. I deserve that much. He killed your friend. You decide. He deserves to die, but nobody deserves what the Huts will do to him. Give him what he wants. As you wish. Now, I truly am a specter. After the test results came in, we made some modifications. The serum lasts longer, and the side effects kick in later. But it's still lethal. No matter what we do, Cyclone will burn up its users from the inside out. I'm not concerned about fatalities. The men and women taking the serum understand the necessity of sacrifice. This is an important day for us. You've created a new weapon in our fight for freedom. One that we'll use to great advantage. We're all honored to hear that from the Eagle, sir. Verve Jen is your partner in the cause. How do you want to proceed? You and your men will distribute Cyclone to the cells and continue overseeing Nar Shaddaa. Verve Jen will remain under your watch. Wraith and Predote will continue managing the business. I appreciate your faith in me, sir. Smugglers are ready and waiting. As soon as we're done here, I'll get the serum to them. Excellent. If we need Verve Jen again, I'll contact you. Otherwise, use your initiative. End transmission. You heard him. Grab the serum and go. Raythan... I'm sorry, sir. I was doing a full sensor scan, and that droid over there is showing unusual readings. I don't recognize it. it. Certainly shouldn't be in the conference room. I'm merely going about my assigned taskmaster. That's no droid. I can disrupt the hologram. Looks like we've got a visitor. Let's handle this. Toto, we can't start shooting up Vervgen. What do I tell the employees? That's the last of your problems right now. Let's deal with this intruder. Something's wrong with the internal defenses. I can't get a response. Secure the building, and don't let anyone escape. Anyone who needs a boost from Cyclone, take it. Recording function activated. Self-diagnosis? Critical. I'm going to die. I'm looking at the man who's going to kill me. A cyborg. How convenient. You eliminated the cell leaders. Now we must remove every trace of their operation and prevent their followers from regrouping. The terrorist communications hub, the system they use to arrange meetings, store secrets, broadcast propaganda, must be destroyed. The man at your feet is our opportunity. I thought stopping the meeting would end this. There are always survivors. Terrorists scattered around Nashadar. You can deny them the resources to rebuild. I don't know anything. We can use his computer-enhanced brain to locate the hub. You'll need to route me to his cortical implant. What? You can't do that! There should be a standard interface somewhere on his skull. Connect your holocommunicator and I can slice the data inside his mind. Please, I'll tell you what you need to know. Just don't slice my brain. You played the game and lost. These are the consequences. Don't. Please don't. I'm inside. He's Aethel Yarn, born on Dantooine. Sixteen years old, he comes to Nashadar, works for the Exchange, earns his cybernetics. Nineteen years. He's recruited by the Nashadar Terror Cell, starts as nothing, but his enhancements prove useful to men higher up. They connect into the cell's communications hub, feed him codes and patterns. Now the coordinates are mine. What am I supposed to do with him now? Leave him to die. I'm releasing his mind. <laughs> Can't think. Can't. The hub is in the network access sector, a maze of computers and holonet transceivers. You'll have to pass the cell's security droids to reach it. Certainly within your capabilities. Once you're there, disable the terminal. Then the Nashadar terror cell will cease to exist. Uh, uh, can't, can't. Consider this an act of mercy. 